How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Though. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... <sighs> Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. Oh, uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. up okay Lee I was pretty fucked up back there having to cut that guy's leg off yeah I just hope Kadja can save him you ever miss the Air Force base I mean this wall isn't exactly military standard no way I'm going back there you saw what it was like when you guys picked me up completely overrun Lily's pretty pissed at us listen I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Well, good luck with that wall. We'll get it. <sighs> Here. 
Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... What's his problem? Don't be like that, Lee. I know we've all seen death, but that doesn't make it any easier. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Place, asshole! Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, 
If you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit? I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the Senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival. But we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well... Here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And you guys were keeping it There's all to yourself. Oh no, there's yeah, a Yeah, you know what? More we ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> You. Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? 
<laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but... Maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy.